I thank uh, Chairman Rogers for his invitation to be here today and for yielding me his time to discuss this important matter of oversight of U.S. military support to Ukraine. As we all know, the United States has authorized over $100 billion in aid, to which our government holds a responsibility to the American people that it be used for its true, just, and intended purpose. It is the responsibility of Congress to ensure that every single penny of American taxpayer money is being effectively used as intended to assist the Ukrainian people in their fight against Russian aggression. <clears throat> Just two weeks ago, I had the pleasure of joining the chairman to visit several of our NATO allies in Europe to receive an update on the war effort in Ukraine and the ongoing oversight work directly related to U.S. military aid. Accountability of the weapons shipped in is absolutely paramount, especially the most sensitive weapons, to ensure that they are being used for their intended purpose <clears throat> and not diverted for nefarious purpose. As a supply officer with both multiple peacetime deployments and multiple combat deployments in my 28 years of Navy service, I am fully aware of the challenges of maintaining visibility and control of critical military hardware and components when the supply lines are long and the theater is kinetic. So, Mr. Stork, I would like to start with you as a Department of Defense Inspector General. In all your inspections and oversight, uh, in country and, and out, have you found any instances of sensitive weapons like Stinger missiles being either lost or diverted uh, to those not authorized to have them? Thank you very much for the question. I'm obviously not at, at liberty to talk about any investigations, but we have not substantiated any such instances, no, sir. So you can confidently say that, that to your knowledge, every sensitive weapon is currently under control of those who should have, it, who should have them. Well, thank you very much for the question. That's why we're engaged in a late, we're laser focused on this issue mm -hmm. and engaged in robust oversight to make sure that's the case. We're doing audits and evaluations that look at the weapons from the time they begin at the port while they're transferred throughout um, as they get to the transshipment points and then they go into the country. And then as I mentioned in my statement, we're now conducting our third evaluation of the EUM and with regard to the sensitive assets, the EEUM, the enhanced monitoring, to ensure that the Department of Defense is conducting that monitoring in a robust way. Additionally, as I mentioned, we have the DCIS, the Defense Criminal Investigation Service. They have vast experience all over the world in doing investigations arising out of conflict situations. And so, again, we're very much alert to any instances where that sort of conduct would occur. Okay. All right, moving on. As I understand it, your office is currently working on, among other things, an audit of DOD award and administration of non-competitively awarded contracts in support of Ukraine. Uh, has there been any waste, fraud, or abuse uncovered or reported to your office in these investigations? So I, I, want to, I appreciate the question. I want to be careful and not get out ahead of my skis because okay. the audit is ongoing. Okay. So we are looking at those issues in our audit and we'll report out on, on what we find. But the, the purpose of the audit is to ensure that the DOD has the controls in place to make sure that doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. According to your testimony, you said that there were some uh, posters both in Ukrainian and English, the language, uh, sent out about um, a particular hotline that people could call. Um, if uh, they wanted to report something. So without compromising any identities, have any whistleblowers come forward with information uh, using that particular uh, method of uh, reporting to your knowledge? So thank, thank you for referencing the hotline. It's something we worked uh, closely on with our partners from State testimony. and USAID. And the goal is to provide an avenue for people to report what they think may be wrong. We have gotten all sorts of types of allegations over that, and we're you know, continuing to look at them. Okay. Um, Mr. Chairman, for the record, I would like to submit a, um, an article uh, from USA Today, and it says, U.S. has spent billions in Ukraine war aid, but is that money landing in corrupt pockets? It was updated as of yesterday, February the 27th. Without objection, so ordered. Thank you. I thank the gentleman. The gentleman's time has uh, expired. Thank you.